So she had found all these great articles in biological abstracts, right? And the really nice thing about biological abstracts is that it is in the same family as web of science. So they're all part of this ISI web of knowledge. So if you find an article in biological abstracts that you think is a good article and you want to do cited reference searching and find out some more related articles using that strategy, you can just hop right into it from biological abstracts. And because they look so much alike, like they're going to have the same green interface, I always keep track of where I am just by looking up here. So this is biological abstracts, and you'll see when we hop into Web of Science that it will say Web of Science instead. So I'm just going <coughs> to click on um, this article here, Green Tea Polyphenols for Prostate Cancer Chemo Prevention, a translational perspective um, written by J.J. Johnson, who is a researcher here on campus. And I'm going to do cited reference searching to find some more articles that are related to this topic of green tea polyphenols for cancer prevention. So I can go right over here, and it pulls up this blue box. You can see it says this article has been cited seven times. This information comes from the Web of Science. So right away, this is useful information because this article was published in 2010. And it's already been published, I mean, it's already been cited seven times. So clearly, it's having an impact. People are, are reading this article, and they're interested in it, and they're citing it in their own papers. So seeing how many times the article has been cited is a good indicator of, of how good of an article it is. So if you want to click on the seven, this will take you directly into Web of Science. And it brings up a list of the seven articles that are citing that J.J. Jackson article. So then you can go through and read their abstracts and learn more about them and decide if these are articles that you would want to read for your research if you are interested in this topic. So that's the forward to so our cited reference section. Oh, and see, here's the web of science. I was going to just point that out because it's useful to keep track of where you are in the database. So if you go down, here, you can see that all the references were indexed, right? And you can follow this link, and it would take you to a list of the references that J.J. Johnson put in his paper. So then you could go through and evaluate some of those papers, and then you'd be interested in reading them. So that's backward searching. And then there's the third kind. Does anyone remember? So sideways searching, which is known as related records. So you can click View Related Records. And this always takes a couple extra minutes to pull itself together for some reason. I think it's compiling a lot of information. here at the very top shares 22 references in <coughs> J.J. Johnson article. So that's, that's a lot, right? That's a really high similarity. And these also are going to be very similar to, to, to topically to that article. And you can look in the titles and see that they even share a lot of keywords. So even without having done a keyword search, we're bringing up titles that um, are clearly on the same topic. So green tea polyphenols, chemo prevention, tea and cancer, beneficial effects polyphenols, cancer. So this is a really great way to get more articles that are related to a topic that you're interested in without having to go in and do a keyword search. And it works very well if you found an article in biological abstracts or in web of science. But if someone just hands you an article, you're also going to want to know how to do a cited reference search with the article that you've been handed. And there is a way to do that. Um, so I'm just going to show you quickly, because you want to make sure that you're in the web of science when you do this. So you can select a database from here. These are all the databases that are contained in the ISI web of knowledge. So you can select a web of science when you're going to do a cited reference search. 
And there's a tab up on the menu above called Cited References. So you can select that. And it brings you to the Cited Reference Search field. And you can see it looks a little bit different than keyword searching, right? It just has the author, the cited work, which is the journal that the article is published in, and then the year, the year that the article was published. So I have an example article to look up. It's this oral consumption of green tea polyphenols inhibits insulin-like growth factor one induced signaling in an, I stumble over this word, I don't know how to say it, as, I'm gonna move on to the next word, mouse <laughs> model of prostate cancer. Um, can anyone tell me who the first author of this article is? Right. So, um, <coughs> in scientific literature, the first author is always um, put first. This is the author that has primary responsibility for this paper, and that's the author's name that you'd want to use to do a search. So, Bakar Mustafa Adami. You'll also want to get the year. Can anyone tell me what year this was published in? It's kind of hard to see, you know. 2004. 2004. And then, I will also, just for my reference, gather that it's from Cancer Research, the Journal of Cancer Research, um, volume 64, page number 8715. So that will become relevant a little bit later. But first, I'm just going to enter the author's name. And a truncation symbol. Um, you'll see that I just put his initials. So you just want to search with initials when you're doing searches for authors. You don't need their full first name. You, it actually won't work if you use their, their full name. Just the initials. And always useful to put a truncation symbol in because that just kind of broadens your net and makes sure you pull back all of the results. So this is a journal field, but I'm not going to enter anything here because Web of Science wants you to use these really specific abbreviations for journals, and, and I don't know what the abbreviation is for cancer research, and it really isn't going to matter that much because as long as you have the author's name and the year, you should pull up all the information that you need. So the year was and then you can do a search. Okay, so this brings back um, all the articles from that year by that author's name that are being cited. And then you have to go through and evaluate which ones are the ones that you're actually looking for. And one good way to do that is to click Show Expanded Titles because this brings up a little bit more information for you. Okay, so. I can see right here that this is clearly the article that I'm looking for. Um, it has the title, the year, uh, and the page number, and the volume, which I remember from looking at the article, and the author's name. So I'll click that box. And then when Web of Science indexes these citations, it does it in a very literal way. So it doesn't take human error into account. And there is often human error in bibliography because they're complicated. So I can look at this with my human judgment and say, I think 8175 and 8715 are actually just someone transposing some digits. And I think that this article is very likely the exact same as this, so I'm going to select that. Um, I'm also going to do that here. I can see it's the same journal, year, page number. 23 is here, but I knew that it's volume 64, but issue 23. So again, someone probably just made a mistake. So I'm going to select these three um, options. And then after you've selected um, all the ones that you think are, are representing the article that you're looking for, you can click Finish Search. Um, and this is going to bring up all of the articles that are citing that Adobe article. So again, this is going to be really useful if you have an article and you want to find out more information on a topic that's related to that article. <coughs> So 111 people are citing this article, um, and I can go through here and get more information about all of those articles. 